Daily Wire has a report. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas called out over the weekend um, after he rejected the notion that the federal government bore responsibility for the murder of a student in Georgia last month who was allegedly killed by an illegal alien. Police arrested 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra, a Venezuelan national, late last month for allegedly murdering 22-year-old Augusta University nursing student Lakin Riley. Um, he was on Face the Nation on CBS, was uh, Mayorkas, and he was asked about this. And we'll just go right to the clip here. Um, well, we can't really call this an answer, but here's how it went down. Let's watch. But I want to ask you about a, a criminal case that has become a political rallying point. You heard Donald Trump use this phrase, migrant crime. A 22-year-old nursing student, I know you've been following this, uh, Lake and Riley in the state of Georgia was murdered allegedly uh, by an undocumented Venezuelan migrant. The suspect had been detained by Porter Patrol upon crossing, released with temporary permission to stay in the country. He then went on allegedly to commit crimes uh, twice, once in New York for driving a scooter without a license and once in connection with a shoplifting case in Georgia. Did those states and their law enforcement communicate to the federal government that this had happened? Should this man have been deported? Um, a few thoughts. First, Margaret, first and foremost, an absolute tragedy. And our hearts break for and our prayers are with the family, number one. Number two, and importantly, as a prosecutor, having prosecuted violent crime and other crimes for 12 years, one individual is responsible for the murder, mm -hmm. and that is the murderer. And we work very closely with state and local law enforcement to ensure that individuals who pose a threat to public safety are indeed our highest priority for detention and removal. So let's just pause it there for a second. Uh, we're going to keep playing it because uh, there, there's, there's more to see. But uh, taking note of a few things, first of all, and this is perhaps, you know, neither here nor there, but Mayorkas is the perfect bureaucrat. He really is. He's like, and by that I mean uh, the very manifestation of the federal bureaucracy. If you want to know what a federal bureaucrat is, then just watch this guy and listen to him speak for 10 seconds. And it is this that's what it is. This smarmy, shriveled little worm of a man. I mean, he looks a little, you know, he looks a little bit like, what is it from The Little Mermaid when Ursula uh, puts a curse on on the people and turns them into like those sea worm things? I think I have this right. It looks like a little, like one of those, like the little, little shriveled worm. And, um, and so when I say he's the perfect bureaucrat, I mean it in that way, not as a compliment, not as a compliment. And the point is that he's, a, he's this sniveling, snide, pretentious, spineless little nothing of a person. If you were to look up the word impressive in the dictionary, there'd be a picture of him, and the caption would say, the opposite of this guy. And, and yet, these are the kinds of people, that's why I say he's, a, he's a, the perfect representation. It's not just him, it's just our entire government is run by, by these kinds of people. Um, and so it's, not, it's no surprise that this is how he's answering the question, and he's answering the question by not answering it. Because the question he was asked was very simple. Uh, this illegal alien killer had already been arrested for committing multiple crimes in this country in multiple jurisdictions. And the question was uh, before he murdered Lake and Riley. And the question was whether the federal government had been notified about this. It's actually very, it's, it's like a yes or no question. Either they were or they weren't. Did they know that he was in the country? Did they know he was committing multiple crimes? Uh, did they were they aware of him but decided not to deport him for some reason? That was the question. A simple question, good question, but he doesn't answer it. And and even you, you notice how he talks about the murder. He says that it's a tragedy. Um, but but he can't even bring himself to say Lake and Riley's name. He says his heart goes out to the family. He doesn't say Lake and Riley's family. He doesn't say the Riley family. He just says, uh, my heart goes out to the family. And I think some people have speculated it's because he doesn't want to say her name. He doesn't want to acknowledge her existence to that extent. And, and I, that, that could easily be the case. I also think it's, it might be true that he doesn't even remember. Like, he doesn't care. He, he, like, in that moment, he, he didn't even remember the, the person's name. Because it doesn't matter to him. He doesn't care. 
Um, and then he says that the murderer is only the fault of the murderer. And that's not true. Now, the murderer is 100% to blame for what they've done. So they get 100%. They get all of the blame that they could possibly hold, which is 100% of it. Um, but the great thing about blame is that you don't have to stop at 100%, actually. You, you can keep going. Because the murderer can be 100% responsible for his own actions, while at the same time, we can acknowledge that other entities, other individuals were also to blame. Because there were other individuals that if they had done their job, this never would have happened. So they are also 100% to blame. Uh, Alejandro Mayorkas himself is to blame. He's 100% to blame. 100%. He may as well have murdered her himself. That's how much of the blame he has. Because if you do your job, this doesn't happen. You decide not to do your job knowing this sort of thing will happen, and it happens. So you're to blame. You know, in a different, in a different country, in a different universe, you, we, he'd be on trial right now. We, we would start trying these people for murder, for, for mass murder. When you've got government officials who obviously are aware that there are uh, violent, illegal criminals that are coming into the country, and they choose not to deport these people, then really they should be held legally responsible for everything that happens after. So they should be charged with whatever it is. Charge a thousand counts of murder, whatever you know, it's just 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 add it up, and that's what they should be charged with. Um, but again, he still hasn't answered the question. So, will he answer it? Let's uh, let's keep listening and find out. Are you saying there that the federal government had been informed about this individual and the alleged crimes he had committed in those states because he could have been deported if that was the case? Was there a breakdown in the system? So, um, Margaret, uh, there are a number of cities around the country uh, that um, have varying degrees of cooperation with the immigration authorities. We firmly believe that New if York did not, it, we firmly believe that if a city is aware of an individual who poses a threat to public safety, then we would request that they provide us with that information so that we can ensure that that individual is detained if the facts so warrant. And it sounds like they were not coordinating. Well, um, different cities have different uh, levels of cooperation. Mm -hmm. We were not notified in this instance. Well, uh, Margaret, uh, so uh, you see, Margaret, there, there are different situations and occurrences and, and uh, different things happen and uh, different happenstances uh, that, 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 that uh, happen. And, uh, well, uh, Margaret, uh, uh, he finally gets around to saying at the end, after, after two minutes of ducking and dodging, he finally gets around to claiming that the federal government was not notified about this guy. But we know that's not true because... Uh, if it was true, you would state that from the beginning. Are you struggling with back taxes or unfiled returns this year? The IRS is escalating collections by adding 20,000 new agents. In these challenging times, your best defense is to use Tax Network USA. Along with hiring thousands of new agents and field officers, the IRS has kicked off 2024 by sending over 5 million pay-up letters to those who have unfiled tax returns or balances owed. These guys are not your friends. Do not waive your rights and speak with these agents on your own without backup. Tax Network USA, a trusted tax relief firm, has saved over a billion dollars in back taxes for their clients, and they can help you secure the best deal possible. Whether you owe $10,000 or $10 million, they can help. Whether it's businesses or personal taxes, whether you have the means to pay or you're on a fixed income, Tax Network USA can help finally resolve your tax burdens once and for all. Seize control of your financial future now, and don't let tax issues overpower you. Contact Tax Network USA for immediate relief and expert guidance. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit tnusa.com slash Walsh. Turn to Tax Network USA and find your path to financial peace of mind. That's tnusa.com slash Walsh. I'm here today because my mother chose life, and you're here today because your mother chose life too. The miracle of life is a gift everyone deserves because every life is precious. That's why we've partnered with Preborn's network of clinics. Preborn introduces unborn babies to their mothers through ultrasound. After hearing her baby's heartbeat and seeing her precious baby, she could be twice as likely to choose life through love, compassion, and free ultrasounds. Preborn has rescued over 280,000 unborn babies, and every day their clinics rescue 200 unborn babies. Now that 
is a miracle. One ultrasound is just 28 bucks, the cost of a dinner, or you can sponsor five ultrasounds for $140, helping to rescue five unborn babies' lives. Any amount will help. All gifts are tax deductible, and 100% of your donation will save babies. To donate securely, dial pound 250 and say the keyword baby. That's pound 250 and say the keyword baby, or go to preborn.com slash Matt. That's preborn.com slash Matt. Like, if the federal government was never told that this guy was in the country, if he's committing multiple crimes and it was never reported, that never went up the chain, then the very first thing you would do is, is say, no, we were, we were not told. And if we were told, he would have been out of here. Now, that wouldn't be true, but at least there's no way of disproving it. Like, it's, it's you know, you're talking about a hypothetical. So that's what you would say. Um, but it takes him two minutes because it's not the case. Because we, we, can, we can know for a fact, based on his response, that the federal government was aware and, uh, and they decided not to do anything. And that's how incompetent, again, this douchebag is. That he tries to evade the question instead of just outright lying. Because he could have done that too. He could have just said, no, from the very beginning, he could have, he could have lied. Uh, but he tries to evade the question because maybe he doesn't want to outright lie. Not because he has any ethical qualm, but just because it's safer to not outright lie. Uh, and he evades, but then he ends up just telling the lie anyway. After two minutes, after doing so much equivocating, that's obvious that he's lying. Um, and we ultimately end up with the truth, which is that, again, of course they knew, and of course they don't care. Um, and, you know, when we talk about the great replacement, I think it, I think it must be said that this is part of the, of the replacement. You know, we, we, now, often we talk about that in terms of voters, where they're, as we know, they're importing all of these third world voters and then giving them, you know, putting them on the, 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 the taxpayer dole and using that to, you know, as, as essentially buying their votes. Um, and that's, and they're trying to drown out the votes of actual American citizens, of those poor uh, whites or those rural whites that they're so afraid of, the threat to democracy. Well, what do you do about that when you've got, when you've got millions of Americans who are just living their lives and have committed the crime of living out in the country? Like they've committed the crime of not living in a city and being white, which automatically makes them an enemy. And, and, and now the, the, the elites are coming out and just saying that directly. But what do you do about them? How do you stop them? Uh, can you just round them up and send them to a camp somewhere? I'm, I'm sure they'd like to. These people would like to do that, but they're not at a point yet where they can quite do that. So what do you do? Well, you drown out their votes with all of these third world uh, immigrants. That, when we talk about the, the replacement, that is often what we mean, replacing the votes. But there's also this very, uh, there's a much more violent and sort of physical replacement that's happening. And this is obviously far from the first case of it. When you have the dregs of humanity who are allowed into this country and then prove themselves to be the dregs of humanity by how they conduct themselves and they're allowed to stay here. And eventually they victimize some American citizen, someone who's like just a normal, you know, a productive member of society, law abiding, and they kill them. So what we've done is we've swapped and when I say we, I don't mean we, I mean they, people like my orcas. There's been a swap. That's a, it's like, okay, uh, rather than like in Riley, we're going to have this guy. What's his name again? Uh, Jose Antonio Ibarra. There's a swap. We swapped uh, Lake and Riley for Jose Antonio Ibarra because she's dead now and now we have him. Um, that, that is very much a part of the replacement that's happening. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.